All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Enlighten. Uh, anyway, been meaning to make this video for the past couple days. Uh, it's been getting away from me. Uh, but uh, myself and Ghost uh, recently had an issue trying to get onto the DayZ servers. Um, I've already done the fix, and if you go over to his channel, uh, you can already see the the fix as well. Uh, YouTube.com slash SPDGhost408. Um, I wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to get it done to work and to show you exactly what is going on with it. Uh, but anyway, if you went into the change server screen right here, I've already fixed it. The reason you don't see anything on here is obviously I turned my ping all the way down and I turned off Battle Eye, so nothing's going to show up. But um, everything was blank. Couldn't see anything. There were no server lists. You couldn't refresh it. We tried to uh, uh, deleting the game, reinstalling the game, deleting the Battle Eye folder, uh, reinstalling Battle Eye, sharing the Battle Eye folder from another client, doing everything that we could possibly think of to get the server list to pop back up. And for whatever reason, it uh, it refused us. So. Uh, uh, Ghost ended up finding a link off of a YouTube video, um, which has to do with uh, flushing your DNS. And I'm about to take you guys on a step-by-step -step real quick on how to complete that transaction and get your server list back up and going. All right, guys, what's going on? I am back. Um, I've already done this task. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it anyway and complete it with the exact same steps just so you can see it. Um, and it was an instant fix for me. Did not have any problems. Didn't have any repercussions from the actions as well. So what you're going to do? Start. Uh, we're going to go to start. We're going to go to programs. We're going to go to accessories, and then we're going to go to command prompt. We're going to right click on it. And we're going to go to run it as administrator. Yes, obviously. And we're going to open up our command prompt box. Uh, you are going to have to be on an admin uh, account before you can obviously run as an admin unless you have an admin username and password. Uh, all right. With that being said. Uh, we're going to start. This is all IP stuff related, uh, so just follow along and I'll put directions as we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do IP config. going to be space forward slash flush DNS and then push enter. It's going to say IP configuration successfully flushed DNS. Uh, your, next, uh, your next step will be IP config space slash register DNS. I'm going to hit that and give it a second to process. It's going to run an IP configuration and then you'll get a bunch of other stuff that shows up here. Have an initiated and errors report in the event. All right, next step we're going to do is IP config space release. There it is. Release an IP address. Next step IP config space slash renew. Enter. It's going to give it a second. Let's go ahead and get that done there. And then the last step will be NETSH, NETSH space win sock space reset. Push enter. As you can see, it says you must restart your computer in order for the process to be complete. Um, I've already reset my computer, so no worries. Obviously, you'll come back in. Your computer will restart, boot up, go into DayZ. DayZ will pop back up. Let me back out of screen for you. So we got DayZ back up and running. Um, you go back over to change server, and as soon as you change your servers, it would instantly pop up on here. I will just turn off my filters real quick. Put that back. Battle yes. Just put it to default. It doesn't really matter. Push OK. And that's exactly what you'll see right here. You'll see your entire server list back up the way that it was before with no issues. Your favorites will still be on there, as well as all of your history stuff. And if you got any friends currently online, your friends will be on here as well. So I uh, hope this uh, works for everybody. I, I didn't have a problem with it. Ghost didn't have a problem with it. It seems to be working first time out. Uh, just follow the directions right across there. I'll also put the commands in the description below so you guys can read the comments uh, and uh, check the descriptions. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you got anything further for me, just uh, leave a note. Thanks for watching.